It's beginning to look a lot like the end of the semester. Although finals don't wrap up until the end of next week, campus already seems empty. That is, until you walk into Holcomb and into the Sili, where students are hitting the books until the dreaded finals are over. The only other place on campus brimming with students is the infamous Starbucks, where students are trying to get their caffeine fix day and night. However, first semester ending means that second semester is right around the corner, and that means there's plenty to look forward to. Sophomore Matt Pawczak has been working nonstop this finals week. The thing getting him through is not just the thought of good grades, but the thought of next semester. Pretty excited for next semester. Um, I have a whole new set of classes. Um, continue um, learning more about my major and um, possibly getting an internship. Um, I'll have new teachers and uh, new classmates, and so it's kind of just a fresh start. It's not classes or professors that's getting freshman Sarah Thewitt excited about next semester. It's the thought of a new beginning in a house full of girls she'll call her sisters. Um, I mean, I'm a little stressed right now just studying for finals and finishing all my projects and stuff, but when I think about it, I think that like after finals, the next weekend I'm here is the start of rush and recruitment, and it's just really exciting to think about that in just a little bit of time I could be part of this new family. We now know there's fresh starts and new beginnings to look forward to. However, Trish Barton has a new adventure in store for her in France, where she's studying abroad next semester. It's very exciting because it, I just know I'm that much closer to going to France. And it's France is a dream for me. So to all of you who are down in the dumps this finals week, cheer up because the new semester is only weeks away. I'm Haley Ross, WRBU News. <laughs>